Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Tori Faye. And in today's video, I'm going to be starting a new series called The Journey to Self Love Solo Diaries. Um, it's pretty much where I'm going to be um, talking about all the stuff that I've struggled with um, in my journey to loving myself um, and talking about it with you guys, who are my family. Um, and also doing things that can help me in this process, like being alone in certain places without other people, doing stuff that I like, like swimming, singing, all that stuff, just to help me love myself more. And talking about it could definitely um, help me in the long run. So this is the first episode, and it's pretty much me telling my story um, with how I got to where I am at now. Um, as far as the insecurities and self-esteem issues that are still in the works to this day. Um, so, oh, and just a disclaimer, this time I may be talking a lot, so I might have to split this video up, um, you know, into two parts. So, make sure you look out for part two. But, let's get on into this video. So, um... First, let me just explain. You guys have heard me talk about my anxiety and depression before. Um, and I never really explained where they all, where it all comes from. Um, it's not like I just am saying it to saying it. I really have had it come from multiple different reasons. And I realize now, now that I'm older, I officially know it comes up with five reasons why I have anxiety and depression. Um, or I get it sometimes, and the first reason is because, as you guys know, I lost my brother when I was eight years old. He was 13, and he was my best friend, and, you know, trying to live life without him was hard after that, um, especially when a girl who doesn't have that many friends growing up, or none at all, if you're going to be honest, and then you lose your best friend, and you're done. Um... Second reason is the reason for the series, my insecurity and self-esteem issue um, with my body and just, you know, my self-worth, um, that's the reason, um, which is the second reason. And the third and fourth reason kind of go coincide with each other. It's my parents splitting up and everything that happened after that, which I won't talk about ever on this channel because it's really personal. And it's all water under the bridge, even though I will never forget it, because I was only a sophomore when it all happened. Um, and my mom's relationship and everything that happened with that, still being a sophomore and, and junior, it, it was terrible, everything that happened within those two years of each other. Um, then the fifth reason is because of, you know, trying to be perfect and a people pleaser and, you know, just trying to be perfect when no one is so yeah those are the reasons but going back to reason number two and that's the whole like I said the whole reason for this series um my insecurities pretty much started at age 11 um before then I was fine I was a kid just living my life um at age 11 we all know we go to middle school um and People can be really mean, and I was bullied. Um, and the form of bullying I had was just not being able to be yourself um, without someone, you know, making fun of you. Wh whether you have a certain brand of glasses or the way you dress, and I didn't dress funky. My mom made sure I dressed great. Um, and of course, I was a good student, and I abide by the rules, and automatically I'm a loser um and I didn't smoke or drink because I, I follow the rules and automatically I'm a weirdo and so it got to be really hard and I started feeling like I had to be 
I had to look or act different in order to please people. And I don't know why I shifted to the people who were mean to me as far as friendships go. I wanted to be around them so badly. I think now, looking back on it, I just wanted to be around the popular crowd. I didn't want to do the things that they did because I knew they were, they were wrong. But I don't know why I shifted to them, and I really regret that. But I'm proud I stuck to my grounds, but it came with some things that was terrible. Um, and I'm just going to mention a few things that happened that were really traumatic in my school life that made me feel so insecure, even to this, to this, to this day. Um, like, there was one time where, there was a point where I didn't want to wear the short shorts that you guys have seen me wear and that I feel so uncomfortable wearing now. Um, I couldn't wear that to school. It wasn't even because of dress code, it was because I didn't want kids to see my legs and make fun of them. Because my legs are big, we have we've seen that before, and I I didn't want no one to see them. Um, and there was also a time where this boy made fun of me by pretending to like me and pretending to be my boyfriend, and everyone knew about it. I don't know if they knew that it was a prank, but somehow they knew about the relationship, the relationship so fast, and it was terrible. Um, and it was really hard for me because the reason why I jumped on it so fast, um, without even knowing that boy, I don't even remember his name, but I, I didn't know you but I was so happy that you liked me. And that, looking back on it, is very sad because just happy a guy likes me and that gives me resurrection. Like, oh, I am pretty, but it was all a lie. And then there's another time where I got so fed up with all the bullying and stuff. I never tried to harm myself. I know better than that. I know that life is so precious, especially after losing my brother. Life is so precious. I'm not going to be gone over some kids I won't know now in my life. And and I so I never tried that, just to let you guys know. Um, but I did question whether or not I should have surgery. I went up to my mom and I said, Mom, can I have surgery to remove the fat from my arms? my stomach, um, my legs, and it was a, it was a really low point, um, for a kid to ask for that, because at, I got to a point where I thought, you know, boys, or people would like me in general if I was smaller, um, because it's so easy to pick on a girl who's bigger, who you know have low self-esteem, so it's just, I think, I would, th I, I thought I would get the boost of confidence from being smaller um so it was really hard with that um being a kid and getting to getting to be older and boy crazy as we all probably were um as far as liking boys or boys liking me I have never and I haven't even really talked about this with you guys I have never had a serious relationship ever or any the only experience I've ever had with um guys has ever been like it's been awkward weird one-sided um and not real and all I want all I've ever wanted was to be with a guy who likes me for me and I like him for him and it be mutual not weird not a prank nothing um and you know now um being older and going out to clubs like most recently I didn't explain this to you guys but most recently I 
went out to a club. This was the fourth time. And it was supposed to be fun because Angelina, my friend, um, and Destiny and Addie and her and Addie's boyfriend, we all went and it was supposed to be all fun and stuff because Angelina was moving back home to Charlotte that weekend. Um, and you know, supposed to be lively, and I was so ready to go, and by the time I got there to the club, it was like, I realized, and this is the part that's sad, I never want to be that person who wants to rely on drugs or alcohol in order to have fun or just feel free, and I never want to do that. But um, when the, the story that I told you guys of me being at the club where I rode the bull that weekend I was on vacation from work so I didn't have to worry about being to work the next day but me being the responsible one in this particular time and this weekend with Angelina and, and all of us hanging out um I knew I had to be to work so early the next day so I didn't want to drink so it's so crazy to see the expectation versus reality in this scenario me um drinking eight shots being so happy and free not having to worry about anything riding a bull versus me literally having an anxiety attack wanting to go sit down be by myself i can't move my feet because i'm afraid of what people will think um worrying about if i will ever have a guy pay i have it to be attention have attention to me um Seeing my friends have a good time, and I'm just the odd woman out, which is not their fault at all. It's mine, because I can't stop thinking, and it's just the worst thing ever. Um, so that's the reality of it all, and I never want to re rely on alcohol in order to have a good time. I should be able to learn how to have fun without it.